Today, we're going to install a fresh copy of RetroPie 4.2. This is going to be the operating system you want for your Raspberry Pi to play all those retro games. You should be able to play everything from Nintendo 64 and Dreamcast on the higher end to Commodore 64, Atari 800, uh, all those classic systems through this method. To get started, you do need to download a couple of files on your computer. So we're going to go ahead and I'll put links in the description. But uh, one of them is Raspberry Pi 2 slash 3. That's what we're going to be installing on. But if you do have a Raspberry Pi 0 1, you would click here. To, for the remainder of this tutorial, it's going to be for Raspberry Pi 3, but the method should be very similar. The other program you're going to want is Win32 or some sort of disk imaging uh, program that will allow you to write a .img file. Uh, once you have that all set up, once you have all that set up, you should have this little file here. Go ahead and extract it and you should get this file here which is a .img file. Once you have the .img file, I'm now going to put the SD card in my computer. There it is. It's 8 gig. Go ahead and format this. Make sure it's on the right drive. Format. Okay. Okay. Alright. It's FAT32 fat is okay. XFAT is okay as well. So now we, ha now we need to go into our Win32. Go ahead and run an administrator. I already installed it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the here. You can download it here. I'll put a link in the description as well. It's a very small file. Once you have that, you want to make sure you have the right device again. You're going to click this folder and go to that image file. Now that I have the correct image, I'm going to go ahead and hit this right button here. It's going to say, are you sure you want to continue? I'm going to say yes. All right. Now, right was complete. It took about eight minutes. Uh, and that was with a SanDisk 8 gigabyte card. You can use any micro SD. I do recommend using name brand like Samsung, Sandus, and getting the higher end, the class 10. You do want a class 10. Put some links in the description for those um, to get good ones as well. At this point, we're going to go ahead and exit the program. We're going to pull the micro SD out of our computer, and we're going to stick it in our Raspberry Pi, and go ahead and power and just plug in the Raspberry Pi, which should power it on. Make sure you do have either a keyboard or a controller hooked up, and you do have the uh, HDMI hooked up as well. Um, the Pi does not like not having those inputs in prior to being booted up. Okay, we've made it. As you can see, it says one gamepad detected. I am using the Microsoft Xbox 360 controller. I'll put a link in that in the description as well. And I'm just cor pressing the corresponding keys on my controller. It's very simple to do. You can use a keyboard for this as well. I highly recommend the Xbox 360 controller because it is seen easily. You don't have to worry about the right analog sticks as much um, because you don't really use them. And if you don't want to assign a button, you can just hold down any button to skip over. Now I hit OK. It does take a little second here. I already hit OK like about three seconds ago. As you can see, still thinking. OK, so it takes about five seconds there. And as you see, when we first boot up, we only have um, RetroPie. 